Hi, and welcome to day five of the Royal Melbourne Show. The show brings a very best of entertainment, agriculture, fine food and attractions for 12 amazing days at the Melbourne Showgrounds. First, we're gonna go into the My Backyard Pavilion. Follow me. We're here in the My Backyard Pavilion with the Wheelbarrow Garden Competition. The competition involves many schools from around Victoria. Let's have a look at some of the amazing entries. On Sunday the 29th of September, Millie Ross, the author of The Thrifty Gardener, will be picking a winner. The My Backyard Pavilion is open daily and it's free from 9.30 till 5. So come in and get some ideas for your backyard. On Sunday the 29th of September, Pete the Permi will be taking visitors on a fruit orchid tour at 11 and 2. The best part about the My Backyard Pavilion is that it's free. G'day, uh, my name's Will from Berry Edible Gardens at the Royal Melbourne Show today. I'm a member of Berry Edible Gardens and we do pretty much everything urban permaculture, urban agriculture. Uh, so we design and give advice and implement um, very, uh, edible gardens. Um, so we also have products, uh, like I said, kit sets. We're also getting into nesting boxes for wildlife and things like that. We also do bee, beehives. Um, that's just starting too, so it's very exciting. Melbourne show wouldn't be the same without a few show bags. So it's easy for you to get to the Royal Melbourne show. You can jump on a tram or a train heading to the Royal Melbourne showgrounds or for more info jump on the Royal Melbourne show website. So we're here today outside the art, craft and cooking pavilion and of course we are sitting outside the very famed Tetley Tea Cozy Cafe. Now this isn't your ordinary cafe, oh no. This is the location of the Tetley Tea Cozy Swap. So of course Tetley Tea is the sponsor today and they're being wonderful by matching each entry with a monetary donation to the McGrath Foundation. So it's fun, it's cool, and it's for an awesome cause. So let's go and have a look at some of these entries. these amazing designs will be on display for the duration of the show so come on down and get some inspiration for your own tea cozies and why not sit in the cafe and have a nice relaxing cuppa. So we're here with Anthony from Animals of Oz. Can you tell us a little bit about Willow the Wombat? I can and, and I'd love to. About 15 kilogram <laughs> wombat. She's still only a baby though. Yeah. Um, and she's here at the at the Royal Melbourne Show just to try and get people to appreciate not just wombats but all Australian animals. In the case of wombats, their population's going down, so we're not actually doing a very good job looking after them. And, and if we don't look after them, then we'll lose them. snapshot of the vast array of activities and experiences you can get from the Royal Melbourne Show. For more information visit royalshow.com.au and remember there's nothing like a day at the show.